Good morning, everybody. Good morning. We have been busy these last few days. Super busy. And with that, we want to show you some of the things that we have accomplished and then take you on a bus build project so you can see in the making how we do these beautiful. And how you can do them too. Yes, these beautiful cupboards. So well, let's take a look. All right, so these are upper cabinets. As you can see, they do not have doors on them quite yet, but when the doors get put on, this is what they will look like. So some beautiful pallet wood with some expanded tin. They are gonna look fantastic. Um, but we wanted to show you kind of what we have done. That way we could kind of get an idea how to do the project. Um, because today we are putting those cabinets right up here. So we're gonna take you along, show you exactly how we made them in case if it's some idea that you would like for your build or an idea for whatever. Your house, whatever. Um, so yeah, I've already got the board trimmed. I'm putting some brackets up right now. So let's jump in. So I've been using these L brackets uh, just as extra support. I totally believe in overbuilding, making everything double tough. I know a lot of people went to Schooly Palooza and they were disappointed in how bad the road was. And realistically, you kind of got to plan for that. You kind of got to build for that. So uh, I don't just like glue some things together and put some screws in it and hope that it holds. We try to bolt and screw and glue and nail and anything we can to help hold because the roads are bad and, and everywhere you go is not always planned out. And sometimes you end up in a place that you don't belong and things like that. And we try to build for that so that when we do run into situations, we can take it a little easy but our bus should supposedly be okay. So I do try to overbuild on some things. So now that our L brackets are in, we do have our board cut down to size. Them shelves over there are 12 inches wide, and this one is going to be eight and a half. So I'm gonna put a screw in it just to help hold it in place so that it doesn't Good morning, good morning. So that it doesn't fall down on us as we are messing with it. All right, now we're going to wear the brackets to hold it in place while I continue to fine tune our pattern. So this pattern was perfect for over here. It all fit in, but since we're going eight and a half instead of 12, I had to make some adjustments. Plus the ceiling's not exactly the same and, and things like that. So I just took my piece of paper, lined it up where I needed it to be, leveled the shelf up. And then obviously the blue tape is what is running my ceiling line. So I believe if I cut this out, we're gonna be really freaking close to what it's supposed to look like. I checked both sides and it should work out. So let's go cut some plywood. So there's a good center one. probably have to cut some of that off on the corner there. All right, so we have the first piece of the bulkhead or the space there made for the cabinet, uh, but with that one is the inside spacer. So now we have to make the other two, which are on the ends. So those will be just a slight bit different, but pretty much almost the same, if that makes sense. So the difference in these outside ones is they'll actually be a little bit taller, correct? Yep, because they actually bolt to the outside of the cabinet where the other one is actually on the inside. 
I'll show you why in a second. Look level? I would say. Perfect. Okay, so the difference is, is this one is on the inside, so it's three quarters of an inch shorter, and this one is on the outside, so that you don't have any faced edges of plywood when we're done. Because we will put inch and a half edging around the whole thing, face frame it, so when we are complete, you won't see any exposed plywood, it'll all be covered up. All right, so the next thing that we're going to do is put some glue on the bulkheads and nail them in place. something in your eye you <laughs> <laughs> I did make a little slit for where our wires come just so that they don't get a bunch of tension and smashed when we put this up what are you doing it fits it fits, if it, fits it ships and you do a little dance Now, we build the face frame. Whoop, whoop. So. We're gonna put the face frame on. <laughs> Just one piece of the face frame. Don't you get that glue all over my couch? Yeah, if you wanna put something down, go ahead. I don't know what to put down. Railroad blanket. Good call. All right, so now that we have the cabinet completely secured in place, I'm gonna give it a nice little coat of white paint just to give kind of a whitewashed look and before we start putting on the doors. Due to it being so windy, I'm just gonna film this from inside. I cut my little pieces. These will be the ends of our little cabinet doors. Now I'll cut the sides and then we'll put the metal inside. I'll show you kind of as we go, but it's super windy and you won't have any any clarity. So I'll do it in here and then you'll be able to see what the final result is. Is laid down back there somewhere. You back there, babe? I'm back here. She's taping everything off so we can do some more painting. Obviously she's gonna paint this yet today. I just wanted to show you how I'm making these doors. Earlier I showed you that I cut these pieces all to size. I now have taken a piece of our ceiling and I ripped it down so you can see it there. I ripped it down and nailed it so that you can now take the metal piece and set it in between 
like that. And then, as you can see, I will build my frame and that will smash the metal and make the whole thing one big door. And like I showed you earlier, I don't have any inside. I'll go right out the door. It's probably gonna be windy. But that will be the finished product. So I'm just working on that now. Once I have one put together, I'll show you how I did it. After getting the cabinets built, or the lids built, I put the hinges on. Now I'm drilling holes for the uh, handles, which we're doing little pieces of rope. But I just got to cut some of the metal out so the rope will go through. Not the hinges, it's the wood's rubbing. Mm. So, today we build a custom cabinet inside of our custom built tiny home. We hopefully you enjoyed it. We hope you learned how to do it. We hope that we inspired you to maybe build your own cabinets. If so, let us know in the comments below. If you hated it, let us know in the comments below. And if you want to continue to see righteously kick-ass build stuff, let us know. Uh, obviously subscribe, obviously follow us on all the socials and uh, I guess we'll catch you next time. Spread love.